Media Masterclass is an event that uh, the Tourism Society and Trap Media has run for the best part of 10 years now. I think at its heart it's a training opportunity for PRs. A lot of our PRs are in their first couple of years in their profession and they're trying to work out how to get through to journalists, what, what journalists will respond to. It was great, we had a good combination of freelance and staff writers, nationals, glossies, um, radio even, and they all had sort of very different approaches I suppose, so it really teaches you that one size doesn't fit all in the travel industry. It's useful just because now I, well, I know the best way to, to get in touch with, with journalists, the best way to compose press releases and, and emails that they're going to take note of, they're not just going to put it into their, you know, their junk pile. There was a time when I first started off in travel journalism where you could be far more they say fair in your relationships with them and you know they needed you more than you needed them. That's not the case now. Um, we need PRs and we need to have good relationships with them and I think an event like tonight is a good way of actually um, making new relationships and making sure that we actually work together much better. The numbers were fantastic. We had an uh, absolutely packed room here so that was excellent. I think that all the, uh, the delegates here got a lot of very good information out of all of the speakers. Uh, good questions at the end. Unlike in other industries where, you know, for the example, the arts, where you have gallery openings or you have festivals, you just don't get that in the travel. So, you know, this is a, a situation where you're meeting people who are here who actively want to chat to PRs. I think that's um, you know, quite a rare thing. So, fantastic event. Having such a broad spectrum of panellists from news, radio, print, and freelance gave us a really good idea of how they all operate very differently but also with the same kind of agenda, so I found it really, really useful. And I think uh, probably in some of our approaching, we did the, almost all the mistakes before, so now I know the best way to, to do the next time. It's quite interesting to hear about press trips, which of the journalists and which types of media you know, are interested generally in press trips, and again, how to go about approaching them for that.